Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on the bell to receive all the updates on my channel. Today we have a product review of the Foxwell NT201 code read scanner. Um, Foxwell did reach out to me and supplied this scanner free of charge uh, in exchange for my review, but they are not paying me for the review. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and get this hooked up to the car and we can review some of the options and features as well as some of the data that it can report back to you when you're working on your car. All right, so we have the Foxwell NT201 hooked up to my car. It's a 2013 Chevy Cruze Eco 1.4 turbo with a six speed automatic. Uh, one thing I can tell you right off the bat, what I like about this, um, it's white text on, on a black background and it's color, so it's a lot easier to read. Um, it's just, it's a better contrast ratio. So, so that's one big thing that I like right off the bat. So, all right, so, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the uh, the diagnostic portion of it. You know, it has about, I'll tell you what version of the firmware it's running and set up, where you can set up the languages and and units of measure, units of measure as far as metric in English. But really what we what we wanna do is we, we wanna look at the diagnostic portion of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit enter, we're gonna go into the, uh, the OBD and it's gonna communicate with the car. And depending on the uh, kind of car you have, you may have more PIDs available or less PIDs, and all, it, all, it really depends. So what it's gonna do is gonna give you a brief summary of where the car is right now, the check engine light is, is off, and then it goes to list all the PIDs. So what we're gonna do is, I know from a past experience that 7E8 is the engine PID, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna go into that one. Right, so if there were codes on this car, which they are not, we could go ahead and read the codes and store codes. All right, no codes are present, so we're gonna hit escape and get out of it. And the pending codes, no, again, yeah, no, no codes. And then permanent codes, again, there's nothing present. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna escape to go to the previous menu. Um, so then you have live data, you have freeze frame, um, I am readiness, so what we can do is we can hit the I am button, and what it's gonna do is, okay, it's gonna give you some uh, information regarding the, uh, the I am readiness. Okay, so we're gonna just hit escape out of that. And go into vehicle information. And this is where it's gonna tell you the VIN of the car and everything else. All right, so there's the VIN, the calibration ID, the verification number, and ECU name. So then if you wanna go to unit of measure, uh, but actually let's do this. We're going to live data, and right now we're not gonna get that much data out of the car because right now the car is off because we're filming, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into live data and then um, it's gonna list all the monitors and sensors that it can communicate uh, within the ECU. Um, <clears throat> depending on your car, your car may have more or may let or may have less. It all depends on the, uh, the availability of uh, what's being uh, released by the uh, the ECU. Okay, so we're gonna go in a complete data set so we can see all of them. All right, so diagnostic, diagnostic trouble count zero. Fuel assist one, fuel assist two, load percentage, ECT in Fahrenheit. We're gonna go into uh, FRP for PSI, mass airflow, PSI, RPM is at zero, vehicle speed is zero, spark advance, um, intake air temperature, mass airflow in pounds, throttle position in percentage, O2 sensor information, uh, gives you unless the OBD type, uh, runtime, message indicator light, evaporation percentage, uh, um, how many miles the car has been tra has traveled since the last time the the, the codes were cleared, evap, uh, barometric pressure, um, CA temperature, load ABS. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, throttle position ratio, ambient air temperature, uh, throttle position. Uh, not sure what these two are. 
Intake air temperature, one, two, and three. And we're going back to zero. So really it gives you a lot of information as far as the, the sensors that it's monitoring. Um, if, if you're doing some basic troubleshooting on it, you know, I can tell you as far as, it, say if you're dealing with the O2 sensor, it'll, it'll give you what the voltage is in before and after. Um, so that could be helpful in your diagnostic information. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back out of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the other PIDs. And I believe one is just a voltage on the car. Let's go on that real quick. Complete data set. Yeah, voltage power, which is 12 volts. And uh, so we'll escape on that one. And then we're gonna go back to the last PID, which is EB, go to live data, complete data set, and same thing. Uh, a little bit more inf uh, information, uh, vehicle, uh, voltage power and FRP and PSI. But uh, essentially that's it. Um, so what, what we'll do is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna start the car, we'll actually get some live data. I won't talk on it because uh, you, you're going to hear the car running. Uh, but, so why don't we go ahead and do that now. All right, so in, re in review, uh, I really like this code read scanner for the price point. It's not that expensive. Um, one feature that it does have, it does have the ability to receive a software update um, through the manufacturer's website, so you can stay current on it. I like the fact that it has four buttons, so you can go scroll up and down, exit and escape. Uh, some other scanners that I've dealt with, uh, you're limited with two buttons which kind of makes it hard to navigate uh, when you're going through some of the functionality of it. It also has the I am readiness button, so you can hit that um, and give you a, essentially a, uh, an indicator on how the car is doing uh, as far as the overall systems. It will just give you a series of check marks and whether it's good or not right um, before you go to test it. Um, there's really nothing too crazy about it. It works pretty well. The processor on it uh, is pretty quick. There's no clunkiness. Or hesitation when you're going into the uh, different menus and as you saw it's the uh, the live data as far as the graphing is also handy as well so I would give this scanner a thumbs up it's one of the better ones I've tested that had been sent to me um, seems like some of the, uh, the the scanners that I've reviewed essentially they are kind of really the same thing but in a different packaging but this one I like um, because it is a little bit unique again it has a color display and it has the, the white on black background, which makes it a lot easier to read. Um, and um, 
com, uh, compared to some of the other ones that I reviewed. So I would give this the scanner a thumbs up. If you like it, go ahead and check out the link in the description of the video. It will bring you out to the Amazon uh, seller storefront where you can purchase it on your own. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.